As a fan of K-drama, have you ever watched K-drama that set in the 80s and 90s? Reliving the past through the lens of popular K-dramas is a beautiful way to reminisce about the good old days. So, if you are looking for some recommendations for Korean dramas set in the 80s and 90s to indulge in, we have compiled a list of the top 10 choices for you. Let's jump right in and check out the list. 1. My Perfect Stranger, 2023. <laughs> My Perfect Stranger is a 16-episode K-drama set in 1987. It follows Yoon Hae Joon, the youngest announcer at his broadcasting station. He is calm and direct as a journalist and good-natured in his personal life. Meanwhile, Baek Yoon Young dreams of becoming a writer, but currently works at a publishing firm. She is unexpectedly transported to 1987 with Hae Joon. That fact makes them investigate events that will happen in the future. During their investigation of a string of serial murders, Yoon Hae Joon and Baek Yoon Young come to a startling realization their personal goals are intertwined. Yoon is determined to uncover the truth behind the murders, while Baek is on a mission to prevent her parents from entering into a marriage that she believes would be disastrous. As they work together to solve the case, the two must navigate their own complex emotions and motivations in order to get to the bottom of the mystery. Youth of May, 2021. Youth of May is a 2021 Korean drama with 12 episodes set in the 80s. It follows Hee Tae, a young man who enters Seoul National University Medical School with top grades and becomes a source of pride for Gwangju. One day, Hee Tae has to attend a gathering organized by his father for the purpose of meeting a potential spouse. However, he is pleasantly surprised when he encounters Myung Hee, a nurse who graciously fills in for her friend Sue Ryan, who is preoccupied with preparing for her education in Germany. Amidst the fervor for democracy in Gwangju in May 1980, Hee Tae and Myung Hee found themselves falling deeply in love. They knew that their journey together would be uncertain, but their love gave them the strength to face any challenge that would come their way. Despite the chaos and uncertainty surrounding them, they remained committed to each other, determined to build a life together, no matter what the future held. Three, Life on Mars, 2018. Life on Mars is a captivating 16-episode K-drama that takes place in 1988. The story centers around Han Tae-ju, a crime investigation team leader who has relied on data to propel his career to new heights. Han Tae-ju, a proficient investigator, is currently faced with a formidable challenge in his quest to solve a case involving serial murder. Despite his best efforts, he has encountered unanticipated obstacles that have caused him to be transported back in time to the harsh winter of 1988. Notwithstanding his current assignment to a small-town police station, Han Tae-ju remains unswerving in his determination to unravel the mystery and ultimately find his way back to the present. Despite the challenges that he has encountered, his unwavering resolve and unyielding commitment to justice continue to serve as his guiding principles. Four, 2521, 2022. <laughs>
a TV and drama set in the 80s and was released in 2022 with 16 episodes. The inspiring story of Nahi Do, a young and determined woman, is beautifully depicted in the film 2521. Nahi Do's unwavering courage and resilience in the face of adversity is truly remarkable. Despite the unfortunate disbanding of her high school's fencing team due to South Korea's financial crisis, Nahi Do refused to be deterred from her passion for the sport. Instead, she forged ahead and joined the national fencing team. The drama serves as a powerful reminder that with hard work, dedication, and a never-give-up attitude, anything is possible. Meanwhile, Becky Jin's life underwent a significant turnaround as a result of the South Korean financial crisis that led to his father's business going bankrupt. He went from living a life of luxury to one of poverty and had to take up part-time jobs such as delivering newspapers while he was still a student. Despite the difficult circumstances, he persevered and eventually landed a job as a sports reporter for a broadcast network. It was there that he met Nahi Do, and the two of them began a romantic relationship that would change both of their lives. Five Different Dreams, 2019. Set in the 90s, Different Dreams was released in 2019. It was a Korean drama that follows the journey of Kim Won Bong, a man who led the corps that only a few people know his real name. He hardly remains in one location for over two hours and only takes brief naps. With passion burning in his heart, he moved swiftly and dreamed of his country's independence. Meanwhile, Lee Young Jean, a Korean lady adopted by a Japanese military doctor, followed in her adoptive father's footsteps and because of a sequence of circumstances, she entered a top medical university in Shanghai. She returns to Joseon and becomes the country's first female surgeon. The two cross paths, and despite their opposing ideals, Won Bong quickly discovers his need for her and begins to regret sending her far into enemy territory. Together they walk, sometimes run, sometimes fall, just to get up and chase their dreams. Carrying with them the pain and suffering of the historical events that shaped Korea's independence, they hope to preserve the past so that it is never forgotten. <laughs> Six, reply 1988, 2015. Reply 1988 is one of the best Korean coming of age dramas set in the 80s. It was released in 2015 with all 20 episodes. This drama tells the story of five childhood friends who lived in the same neighborhood of Sangmandong, Seoul, in 1988. Starring Lee Hai-ri, Go Kyung-pyo, Ryu Jun-yeol, Park Bo-gum, and Lee Dong-wai, Reply 1988 has a comedy and melodramatic theme, but it is subtle and not overly dramatic. The plot beautifully captures the theme of their childhood friendships as well as their own change and growth. They are all students of a high school, meanwhile, Take is one of the Go players. The show's portrayal of young adults and their lives is one that is relatable to all. Not only do we follow the main character, but all of their parents as well. You'll never be able to forget who is who. Everyone gets a chance to shine in the Sangmandong neighborhood. Seven, Pachinko, 2022. 
The Min Jin Lee novel, Pachinko, was adapted into the film Pachinko, an expressive, emotional journey through history that recognizes the impact of Japanese colonization on Koreans in the 20th century. Produced by Soo Hyu, this drama series features an amazing cast including Yoon Yoo Young, Lee Min Ho, Kim Min Ha, Jean Ha, and Soji Arai. This expansive tale, which takes place in the 1980s, follows a Korean immigrant family through four generations as they leave their native country in an effort to live and prosper. As they attempt to establish their identities and find a place in the world, their experiences lead them from Korea to Japan and America. The majority of the story, which follows Sunja and her family's trip, is set in the 20th century even though the series starts with events that happened in the late 19th century. However, the narrative swings back and forth in time. Eight, Oasis, 2023. <laughs> With 16 episodes, Oasis was released in 2023 and was set in the 1980s. This drama is jam-packed with emotion, involving romance and political unrest. Every episode of this drama will have you on the edge of your seat. Oasis explores the relationships between these three people as they experience the ups and downs of adolescence during a pivotal period in South Korea's history. It focuses on their development as individuals, the difficulties they face in their relationships, and their pursuit of their goals. The Crime Noir, Detective Investigation, and Psychological Thriller series, Through the Darkness is based on a book of the same name that was written by Kwon Il Young the first profiler in Korea, and co-authored by author Go Namu, and released in 2018. The drama is set in the late 1990s and follows the establishment of the Behavioral Analysis Unit in the South Korean Police Force. It also portrays the importance of criminal profiling in investigations after a tragedy occurred. Citizens of Seoul have been frightened by a serial killer murderer who stalks and kills women at random. Since the catastrophe, the city situation has been deafeningly silent. The cops are perplexed since the killer appears to strike at random. They struggle to figure out when this assassin will next attack and why the murder took place. Kim Namgil's portrayal of Song Ha Young is truly remarkable. As a criminal profiler, he fearlessly dives into cases and the human psyche, applying strategies acquired from the FBI. His composed and charming demeanor amplifies his proficiency in solving even the most intricate of crimes. This drama not only focuses on the criminals and the profiler, but also portrays the pain of the victims, both the deceased and their loved ones, in a beautifully empathetic and respectful manner. 10. Snowdrop, 2021 내가 누군지 알겠어요? 어떻게 눈 떴어? 나야 나. 나한테 테이프 줬잖아요. One way ticket. One way ticket. 야. In the midst of political tensions between North and South Korea, a beautiful romance blooms in the South Korean series Snowdrop. Directed by Joe Hyun-tak and set in 1987. The story is adapted from the handwritten notes of a man who escaped from a prison camp in North Korea. 
This captivating drama depicts the intricate love story of Eun Young Ro, a bright and enthusiastic freshman at Hosu Women's University in bustling Seoul, and Lin Soo Ho, a North Korean spy whose dangerous mission leads him to South Korea. Fate brings them together during a group blind date, and their instant connection leads to a blossoming romance. Despite their starkly different backgrounds, the two continue to cross paths. When some incident happens, young Ro takes it upon herself to care for Suho in her dorm without any inkling of his true identity. She even aids in his daring escape from the dormitory without arousing any suspicion. However, young Ro is left feeling shocked when she finally uncovers the startling truth about her lover's double identity. While it is heartbreaking to watch over his first love young Ro, Suho has no choice but to move on orders to save his teammates and return to his home country where his brother awaits. Young Ro rejects his father's wishes and works hand in hand with Suho to save the man and friend he loves. Thanks for watching my video. I'd love to know what's your go-to drama from the 80s or 90s. Drop a comment and share your thoughts below and have a great day.